Hey everyone and welcome to my channel and this video today we will be painting this light bulb with some light reflection in the air and also I will be today using this Fontaine watercolor paper it is 100% cut and 300 GSM or 140 pounds it is cold pressed 20 by 40 centimeters or 8 by 15 and a half inches also I will be using my watercolors that I made myself this black and yellow and also from etcher I will be using darker brown from the brushes I will be using this larger round brush also one a middle round brush and one smaller round brush and you can find the link for those brushes down in the description box also using this white gouache and some ruler with the circles to draw in the reflections and the paper that is left over for my stickers that I glue some masking tape on them some scissors and I believe that is basically it everything that will be needing from the supplies I will start with drawing my sketch for the light bulb and I'm not really gonna complicate the sketch just doing a very 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 simple light bulb when finished with my sketch I will just cut it out with the scissors and then afterwards glue it onto my paper same thing I'm gonna do also with those circles with the reflection I'm gonna draw in a few of those and you can use them um, uh, you can see I'm using a smaller circle if you don't have this uh, ruler you can definitely use just about anything circular now I'm placing it onto my paper just making the composition on the right side I place the light bulb and on the left side those circles for the reflection then I'm picking up a lot of black I did not prevent my paper this time because I do not want to put water on my paper and when I'm adding paint it will be even lighter so I do want it to be very very dark I did not prevent but I'm just painting quite fast so I don't get ugly lines when the paint dries so just be very very fast first I've added some black then on top a little bit of the brown and then some splatters just to make a nice effect after it's dried completely I'm picking up those uh, circles that tape I placed onto my paper and of course I did not mention that but you can definitely use here masking uh, fluid that's also an option or um, well I guess I thought everybody has masking fluid and this is a little bit larger larger shape still very simple so it is easy to do it to make it from the from the tapes and now with just a yellow I'm painting in those circles and on one side of the circles I'm adding a little bit more of the paint a little bit of the darker this is something like a raw sienna so I did use a little bit more water to paint in the lighter part and then a little bit more saturated paint to paint in the darker part when finished with that I moved on to painting a light bulb first I used yellow this is a uh, yellow from the etcher palette and painting in the light bulb and I left the middle part light because that is where the light is and that's the lightest part and around it I painted a little bit darker with a darker uh, yellow with something that I said that is something like a rose sienna then also painted in the black part from the light bulb the thing that it is hanging in and you know at first I left that uh, side parts white but then I decided no I'm gonna paint that anyway and then later on I will add some white gouache to make it look like that it is reflecting from the from that part of the of the light bulb because there could be another source of the light in that room so now as I said adding a little bit of the white gouache on the sides I will be adding a little bit more because also white gouache when it dries it becomes a little bit lighter a little bit more transparent so I will be adding a few times until I'm satisfied with how it all looks some splatters also with white gouache because why not it just adds maybe not really realistic look but something to it I do love white gouache and splatters so uh, now adding a little bit of the lighter parts also to the light bulbs I've mixed in a little bit of white gouache and yellow and did some splatters with the yellow 
white yellow gouache i guess that would be because i mixed in watercolor yellow watercolor and white gouache again a little bit more of the details with white gouache on that light bulb and i guess with that i'll be finishing off this painting and this video i do hope guys you you like it because you know this is i guess something that i really love to paint but a little bit different maybe that i haven't done lately so this is one idea something fun you can do and we'll give a shot so thank you so so much for watching thank you so much for all your support i really do appreciate that a lot if you like this video please hit the like button share it and comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that really mean a lot to me maybe consider joining my channel that's that join next to the subscribe and again guys thank you thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye